upside down suggests that you don't take any tips from me. Ooh, oh my god. Balayage. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tao. Today, I am doing how I style my hair short video because I told you guys in my last video, but I got my hair cut and quite a bit shorter now. I actually really like the short length to it, so I decided I was going to make a little video on how to style short hair. So I guess without further ado, we will get into styling this hair. Today I'm going to be using my hair straightener. This is the Oh, I think that's upside down. Noom. The Noom hair straightener. I just got this from Winners. It's like a really cheap one. I think it's like 30 bucks. So it's not too bad. But I really like it and they last a long time. The last one that I had lasted me about, I want to say, four or five years. So pretty good. Very reliable for a cheap price. The first thing that I wanted to do was section off my hair into like a top and bottom section but I'm just going to divide my hair into top and then bottom because I'm going to give it kind of like a beach wave type style I really want to get a crimper because I feel like that would be kind of cool maybe that's something I can purchase down the road but along with doing my hair I'm going to be doing a very like light makeup look because I'm not a beauty guru I suggest that you don't take any tips from me but I will tell you some of the products that I use because I do really enjoy some of the products and I I think that they work pretty good but this I just put on like a lotion like a cream and this is the Cetaphil hydrating lotion for sensitive skin so I always put this on first and that just kind of makes sure nothing gets just to make sure none of my makeup gets flaky and like weird look so I always start with that as you can see I'm like kind of breaking out a bit not that bad but I want to cover it up because we are going out today I'm um, just a family house the family's house not going to shopping malls or anything a lot of those places are just starting to reopen anyways and we do have the mandatory mask orders so for people who are not living in the Toronto area or wherever you live. I don't know what your rules are, but here we have the mandatory mask order. Oh my goodness, my hands are so lotiony, I can't open my um, concealer. Got it. I just used the CoverGirl, oh my god, CoverGirl, the, oh my gosh, that's upside down, the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover whatever it's okay and also because i'm lazy i don't like wetting my beauty blender so i just use my bronzer oh my god bronzer brush hair straightener is ready we're gonna do the hair now i'm just doing like those beach wave curls so that's where you just kind of twirl the hair inside of the straightener and it kind of gives you like a cute little curl there. So I'm just gonna do that to the bottom layer of my hair. I don't want to kill my hair by going over it like 50,000 times because that is what I used to do with my hair when I was in high school and I absolutely fried my hair so bad. And now my hair looks nothing like how it used to do, used to do how it used to i used to have really curly hair and then i started dyeing it when i was in high school with like those box hair dyes and then last year for those of you who know me I decided I was going to bleach my hair on my own. Well, actually I got Andre to do it for me, but it absolutely destroyed my hair and I had to get it fixed, which is what it's at now. So this is like all the salon fixed. And then this is my natural hair color. It is growing in, which is nice. I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about the two different colors going on. Like I feel that my hair just needs to be one solid color, you know? I'm not, I'm just 
not that I don't like the whole ombre, what is it? Balayage. Not that I don't like the balayage look, I just, on me personally, I just want my hair the one solid color. Okay, so I just did the bottom layer. My hair is really thin, so it doesn't take very long, but I'm just gonna section my hair again to kind of like the middle. Oh my gosh, look at this, that's crazy. Um, do the middle row and then do the top. So I guess I will just check in with you guys, show you guys what it looks like when I get to the top because that's kind of like the only different, I guess, kind of technique that I'll be doing. Okay, so we're at the top layer now and I do my part right down the middle and as you guys can see I've got like these little short strands here and that was because I cut my own hair quite a few months ago and my hair grows really slow so it hasn't grown back but I'm just taking like that front little section and I'm just gonna make myself into a truffula tree this is the part that's gonna be a little bit different than the rest but I'm just going to do the top section okay we are almost done also I really need to wash my hair but I think the one thing that I've been doing really good at is only washing my hair once a week so that way I'm not like stripping my hair of the natural oils they say to only wash your hair once a week and my family always makes fun of me because my hair is always greasy but I'm like you know what I don't even care because quarantine not like I'm going out anywhere if I was going to the bar or something like yeah I'd probably wash my hair but because I'm not and I don't need to go Anywhere, my hair is not going to get washed at all. Now we're dealing with these little pieces and the trick is, is you have them divided and instead of going curling it the way that you'd want it to, you want to curl it the opposite way. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I think that's what my hairdresser told me. Okay, maybe not because this like is not looking so that way, oh yeah, and then that way you can tuck it behind your ear and it kind of like... Okay, so my second memory card died literally as soon as I changed it. I think I got maybe five minutes worth of footage on it, so that's great. But then I had to leave. I was kind of in a rush this morning. But I really like how my hair turned out today. It's super cute. I just ended up taking my like side bangs and pinning them back with these super cute little hair pins that I got. Oh my gosh, don't mind my nail, but these super cute little hair pins that I ordered online from Believe It or Not, Ardeen. So before you go bashing cheap clothing brand companies, this actually is really cute and it kept my hair back all day. I did not even need to redo it once, which means it worked. But, but you probably could just kind of go with it. Maybe keep one in, the other one not. Um, but I just kind of took that little section, rolled it back and then took the hair clip and this bad boy back just like that and it worked super great kept my hair out of my face the hair is pretty short so it doesn't need to be tied up right now when it does get really hot i do just put it into a big ponytail big small i just put it up into a ponytail use my scrunchies or my telephone wire cords with that i think this is kind of the final look also my makeup ended up being really simple just eyebrows mascara and i honestly did such a tiny amount of concealer but i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video make sure that if you did give it a big thumbs up and subscribe comment something down below i read every single one of my comments and reply to all of you guys so make sure you guys comment something and follow me on instagram i'm so close to hitting 1k i know that's like like a weird like small milestone and like just people who don't make YouTube videos have like a couple thousand followers but I've been working really hard at making my feed look really pretty and taking lots of pictures and trying to be 
active so <laughs> make sure you guys follow me on there check out my website taliab.ca i hope that you guys have a great day whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye